Hi guys, it's me Nana. And it's that time of year we're going to be transitioning from nice warm summer breezes to cool fall winds. And uh, there is a hurricane heading towards the United States right now. So everything's a little windy and I thought I'd try to reflect that. But with fall comes winds, with fall comes color, and color is what brings us here. But we need some tools, so you know the drill. We have our glues, we have our cutting things, and we have our tying things. But in this instance, we have leaves, and I mean leaves. That's a wreath, not a wreath, it's um, a sprig. I have sprigs, I have sprays, I have um, anything that has leaves attached to it, I have it. They're all from Dollar Tree. I've uh, accumulated them over the past few weeks. I'm sure if you follow me at all, you know that I just go crazy over color. And fall is probably why it is a favorite amongst most people because that transition from blues and greens to oranges and yellows is just so spectacular in some parts that it just uh, is very inspiring. Okay, so first and foremost, I have an old wreath. We have used this grapevine wreath again and again and again. So I just cleaned it off from its old life and I'm going to breathe new life into it. And by doing so, I'm taking this, um, can't remember what we call this now. It's just a group of leaves on a vine. <laughs> and this is about the leaves. When I first moved out of my home state of California, which is green and brown for most of the year, and having lived uh, in different parts of the world, I never really experienced what real fall was like. So when I finally did in my mid-teens, I was moved and I can't ever get over my first experience up in the Middle West near Chicago and everything was orange, purple, red, yellow, all at the same time. So that is what this wreath is going to pay homage to. We're going to bring in all the colors of the transitioning summer and deep into the fall colors we know that are coming. I live in the South now, and uh, we are called leaf watchers <laughs> because when everything starts to change, we get out in our cars and we start driving. We start driving to watch all that green turn into all that red, red and yellows and spectacular oranges. So that's, again, what I am inspired to do here today. It's going to seem a little manic at first, but it will tie together. I have all these little tchotchkes that I've been saving over the, again, past few weeks and uh, trying to make up in my mind what this is all about. And what it's all about really is the leaves. Everything as a leaf watcher is important to me because it's what signifies the beginning of a new day which will lead us to spring but i'm going to get ahead of myself and i don't want to do that okay so i wanted to get the purples in first i wanted to get the colors of summer in first because they're literally going to fade into the background but they have to be here Again, here's another transitioning color. It's not uh, fall and it's not summer, but look at those beautiful leaves. I uh, never miss a chance to clip a few extra of those and keep them around for color. I always like to use them to put them in between to make your eye have a break from some things if they become a little too redundant. So I'm just putting in my tall sprays first. You see that pumpkin filler right there. I need this to make sure it lays flat, but also front side up. You gotta be careful because the leaves want to turn upside down or backwards on you, and you want them to show their perfect uh, color uh, by being up, right side up. Now, I do apologize. I'm trying to uh, give you a full view, but this wreath is awfully big and my camera is not high enough, but I wanted you to see the specific um, work that goes into each 
part of the wreath and that way it falls together. Now I'm just bending and making the flowers do what I want them to do. I'm not using a whole lot of glue here. There's going to be glue piled on top of glue here in just a little bit and you don't need to use a whole lot. And because this is a grapevine wreath, you have a lot of nooks and crannies in which to put this stuff in. But with all these homemade sprays, like this is what I did. I took apart this spray of uh, maple leaves and oak leaves, and I just cut them apart. And you know, if you buy them separately, you're paying, you know, anywhere from 89 cents to a dollar and a half for a spray when you can buy one at uh, Dollar Tree and make about six sprays from one uh, excuse me, six picks from one spray. So again, here's some close-up look at what I'm trying to accomplish. And each portion of this wreath is a vignette all into itself. So it breathes life. The top part of the flowers is the beginning. The bottom part of the flowers, here's what you see, the vignette being um, closed off and uh, signifying the beginning of the new era of fall. And I have my mini mum spray, which we're going to cut into, again, picks. Uh, lots of little picks here to be created. A lot of money saved when we're creating it this way. And we're able to transition all the different colors that we want in there. So I'm putting these upside down, which may seem counterintuitive, but we're doing that because it's going to be hanging up and you'll see it from the bottom up. And I want to make sure that my right side is... Uh, balanced with my left side. Of course, the left side is going to be the main event where the right side is just the supporting cast. Now we're still making sure that the colors are balanced, but as you see, the summer colors are fading into the background as the fall colors or autumn, I keep wanting to say autumn, the autumn colors are starting to come forward. So I have these uh, mini um, chrysanthemums, I think is what they call them. And uh, we're just going to create again some picks to balance this out with the lighter colored flowers on the other side. And I'm just kind of making a cascade to show that, to make a break for the eye. I just love doing this. Uh, can you tell? <laughs> now here was a bold move. I had to get this on there and sometimes it's not as easy as it looks. But with enough hot glue you can accomplish anything you want. So put a lot of hot glue on that and hold it down really really hard. And once you do that you just find a base for it. In this case I have a little bag of acorns that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that as a little table to um, glue in place. I thought I'd get a second um, pumpkin up there but that's not going to happen so you know we can always hope and wish but it just was too big so we're going to put our little acorns in there to establish a nice uh, permanent spot for our little pumpkin which by the way is so beautiful I can't believe that we were able to get these at Dollar Tree for a dollar and put together this wreath for almost nothing I mean this is you know if you had to buy this ready-made forget about it right but anyway okay so we've got to balance it out with that second pumpkin I'm bound and determined to get one up there and I need extra tchotchkes to make sure that uh, we have a base for them so I'm just kind of uh, filling in everything to make sure that it doesn't look too um, sparse because this is a huge uh, wreath but uh, it's going on a tree out excuse me on the door outside so it's got a lot of room to cover so we're finally going to try to get this last pumpkin up there uh, you know, I'm going to try to get more up there, but unfortunately that's going to be it as far as my pumpkins go. And we're going to use the last of our little acorns. You, you, you know, you can't um, uh, uh, emphasize enough how important these little tiny tchotchkes are because they're the ones that hold the whole big thing together. We rely on these little tiny things. And from here out, it's just a matter of putting in some more color. But the main event, of course, will be our leaves. I'm just showing you a little bit of how I'm going to tie this up. I'm going to use uh, the uh, pipe cleaners to hang it off and then we'll hide it or disguise it with some leaves, of course, because what is fall about? Fall is about leaves. So I'm going to just kind of start layering as many leaves as I can. I don't really want 
any rhyme or reason here. I don't want any patterns. I, I of course, don't want to have too much of one thing in one place at one time because, again, that's not fall. what fall is all about. It's about all those leaves. And if you've ever run through a large uh, pile of leaves in the fall, there's nothing like it. Young or old, uh, you just can't help but enjoy it. So I want this to remind me, remind you of those days when all the leaves finally hit the ground and uh, there's nothing to do but play. <laughs> So here we are. I'm just going to start finishing it off. I hope this does remind you of those days. It does me. And uh, although this is not going to be the prettiest wreath I've ever made, it will definitely be one of the most significant. With every year that passes by, I think we appreciate uh, more and more the transitions as well as the new beginnings but since we're in a transition I thought I'd just throw this out there and see what happens literally because the idea of running through leaves right now is so um, uh, inspiring that it's really all that's on my mind I am going to throw a few more green things there in the end but uh, that'll be there towards the end. You can't uh, really uh, discount succulents. I don't know if we've had enough of succulents or if succulents have just begun their movement and uh, who knows what's going to come in the future, but I thought I'd put throw a few succulents in at the end, so don't be too surprised, okay? But until next time, again, if you're new to my channel, I hope you liked what you saw and maybe you'll stick around and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And if you like what you saw, I would really appreciate a good thumbs up. That way I know that I might be doing something right. Again, happy fall, y'all, and I hope that if you are in the eye of the hurricane, that uh, you are high and dry by now and ready for whatever comes at you. And Texas, keep on keeping on. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of that region. We are really a country of doers. Amazing. Bye for now, guys. Have a wonderful weekend and a colorful, colorful transition. Let's get leafy. Bye now.